everything came from the stars and landed on our planet and made this special place that we all live in. And now it's, you're in Portland, Oregon on Earth at the Ecliptic Brewery in the country of the United States of America. <laughs> we make good beer here too, by the way. So in April this year, I've been brewing 30 years. Pretty crazy. I was a customer. I live close to here, so I was a good customer before I started working here. I think John's in total denial about his like legendary brewer status. He is an Oregon brewing legend. He's the original brewmaster from Deschutes, one of the original brewers from McMinimins. He was one of the brewmasters at Full Sail. He's been making beer for 29 years. And you know, at the age where most people start thinking about maybe retiring, he opens his own brewery. Aren't you curious about my new formula? Yes, of course, only I didn't want to be inquisitive. None of the beers here actually taste like any Deschutes beers. They don't taste like any Full Sail beers either. I, mean, I feel like you can, as a brewer, you should be able to like, make another porter or make another pale ale or another strong ale or whatever. If you can't find another way to get a twist on it, get a different flavor with a hop or malt, then maybe you shouldn't be a brewer. Yeah, I think what he's making now are probably all the things he thought about when he worked for those other places that either didn't work in the schedule or he wasn't allowed or for whatever reason. In the last two years, he's got to make them all, so how cool is that? <laughs> to me, the name had to be astronomical. The whole theme of the brewery is to be astronomical. I know that our light fixtures are um, space related. All the beers were going to be named after an astronomical object. So, so the ecliptic is basically the, the name of the ecliptic plane, which is our journey on spaceship Earth around the sun. Seasonal food, seasonal beer. There's a foodie town now, it's a beer town now, but you go to most breweries and the food is kind of just pub food. It's an afterstatement. It's like, come for the beer, the food's decent. And uh, I really wanted it to be like, where we have people who come here, who just come here, they don't drink beer, they come here to eat. Every time the menu changes here, it's like Christmas morning to all the employees because we have new food to choose from. So that's really cool too, just to keep people interested. I think that's awesome that they want to come here and just have a, a food experience as good as the beer experience. And so it's part of my business plan was the idea of marrying food and beer um, in, a, in a higher quality, uh, more food focused, smaller menu. Don't try to be everything to everybody. Just have high quality stuff on your menu. I think you're going to start seeing more and more breweries that offer that kind of experience versus just the average, here's your hummus plate and some carrot sticks. Hope everything's great today. I'm just, I'm constantly surprised by how tightly knit this whole family is from kitchen to front of house to sales to brewers. Everybody here, I mean, people get off work and still go hang out together. My goal is just to provide a great work environment, a great happy place to go to work. And, you know, one thing I learned from uh, my time at Full Sail, it was employee owned company. It, you know, I was given shares in the company uh, for working there. I was given, you know, good, great benefits. And so my goal is, I can do it, is to provide more and more benefits to everybody who works here so they can have a better quality of life and um, you know, share the wealth that way. Definitely locally, any, everybody's willing to help each other make better beer. And the cool thing is that most of the breweries these days are making good beer and they're asking for help, which is pretty neat. As people become more educated at what makes a good beer and what a good beer tastes like, I think that it kind of forces the uh, brewers and the craft beer makers to be more conscious of the quality of what they're putting out. But as a consumer, there's nothing more I love than walking in a bar and seeing the handles rotate and having the beers I've never had before because I'm usually looking for the newest thing and I think a lot of craft beer drinkers are fickle, but that's okay. We make enough beers that they can be fickle. The craft beer industry is there to support ourselves and we're very supportive of each other because we really do believe that we're changing the world in the sense that People are not going to go back to drinking the Budweiser style beers. It's over. And that's why you see Anheuser Bush buying up all these breweries because they know they're not going back. That's where fighting really is the pseudo microbreweries now. But on the light side, the breweries that are small and young and independent are really working together to help make better beer, collaborate beers together, do beers together, co promote, co market, and grow our brands with each other because there's strength in numbers. There's a reason that Portland, Oregon is the number one beer city in America for per capita beer sales is because. People drink craft beer here. They, they want to support the local economy, they want to support the local brewers, and I think that um, that's why Portland's so special and so unique in the beer world. <laughs>